for real. I'm like, stop. I'm like, stop on driving, bitch. <laughs> Hey y'all, want to do a quick check in, see how y'all feeling, y'all I have been in this, I'm trying to hold my head down so y'all can see my eyes, this is for my place, this is for my angel, I have been in such a mode of nurturing myself that is crazy like i'm in a this mode where i cannot be distracted i cannot be wavered like i i'm so focused i'm so focused and i love it you know i have my my moment where i am like hey Y'all too loud. I have my moments when I'm like, oh, today is just not the day. And I allow those moments to exist. They don't last long. I make sure they don't. And then I kick it back into motion. Y'all know big on wellness. So feeling my feels is a big thing. So whenever I feel exhausted, I rest. Whenever I feel not myself, I check in with myself. When ever something feels odd, I, I'm like, hold up, let's 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 make some adjustments. I am not getting upset about things that take place that are outside of my control. I am just adjusting to life, and I feel like that takes us back to understanding adversity. It's there. It will always be there. But it's how how you choose to navigate those spaces. And I'm, I'm simply just going to make adjustments. I feel like that's the, the biggest thing that I could do for myself, which makes me a better person, which makes me a better mother, a better wife, a better sister, a better friend. And I ain't been outside as much as I would like. I feel like I have to make some decisions about my social self-care and I need to be better at planning it out and budgeting it because everybody knows me when I nurture my social self-care it's up because I love me a good time and I like to go out comfortable so um what's the budget <laughs> what's the budget um but I'm making sure that I understand what my husband said about delayed gratification I do not like that but I understand the benefits of it and the discipline of just being patient. But I'm, I'm loving this mode that I'm in. Your girl is finally complete with my first course of my psychology um, degree. And I got a B plus. It could have been an A. Mm, it could have been an A. But I got a B plus. And I'm truly excited. This, this was a hard ass class. I was like, are they trying to make this first class hard? So that I like be like, oh. This degree is not for me, but um, I ate it up. My professor was a black woman. Shout out to, to Dr. Washington. She was amazing. She helped me stay on track. And like I said, it was a tough class, a lot of writing, a lot of research. Uh, papers had to be done, understand writing for a master's degree, and I'm utilizing it in psychology. It was a foundational class, a foundations class for psychology, but it was it was definitely a hard ass class. So, shout out to me because I, I B plus was C. Um, on a personal end, I recently had a therapeutic session with my coach. I consider my therapist, but um, she's my coach. I love her. And I'm also a student of her uh, therapeutic coaching school, which I'm actually almost done with. And um, y'all know I offer sessions. Hey, y'all too loud. Therapeutic sessions. Um, but I want to make sure I sharpen my toolbox, the tools that I have in my toolbox and add to it. So that's why I wanted to be a student of her therapeutic coaching school. But um, I recently had a session with her and we were talking about just being in my soft girl era. And soft girl doesn't mean like everything is pretty, elegant and glam and chic. 
it's allowing my husband to do what he do. Um, going back into housewife mode, and that's okay. I can still run my businesses, do all of these things, but I'm still a housewife. Y'all, in this housewife phase, it can be difficult. I'm going to do a real good video on that to let y'all know like what the transition is from going from working class woman to uh, being a housewife, to going back to working, to readjusting to being back a housewife and having additional kids because initially I had only had two kids and now I got four. So uh, but we're going to talk about the transition between all that. But I'm just owning this. And I'm like, if a job finds me and it aligns with everything I got going on, then hey, we'll give it a try. But if it doesn't, I'm not stressed about it. I'm just like, ah, whatever, I'm gonna sit back, let my man be the man. Um, he's perfectly fine with taking care of the house, taking care of me and the kids. So um, we ain't gonna argue for that. Um, but it has definitely been uh, a lot of adjustments being made. And everything is not perfect um sometimes we do too much with finances and we have to realign those sometimes we do too much individually hey why y'all trying to out talk me yeah um so it's been something 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 but overall i am truly grateful god has been very abundant in the things that he's offered and provided to my family and myself so i cannot complain i am grateful for the connections that i am making with new friends and new businesses and uh, just continuing to put forth amazing events shout out to uh, my newest project which is the gylt get your life together book club it's for the wellness girlies who love good books and it's all about just being a better version of yourself and navigating this thing called life together and um, we do that through books so um, I'll drop the link below for you guys in the description uh, make sure you subscribe here to me make sure that you're a part of the book club it's a cool it's five dollars a month and you can get in on the goods to get your life together and um did my baby call me yet Kids getting out of school, they got a lot going on. All right, let me wrap this video up, and um, I will catch y'all on the flip side. Shout out to Slackner Law, yeah. Shout out to them. Um, a personal um injury firm, and I got a little bag. Can y'all see this? Let me get out here and get my baby, y'all.